Hello and welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV. In this episode we'll be looking at Illustrator and document setup. It's really important to set your document up correctly from the very beginning to save you having to do any changes after you've created your artboard that could you know, slow your workflow down. So starting off, we're going to be working on a document that is for a Facebook post. Um, it'll be for an event. So we've got our specific size in mind and we just need to make sure that we set the document up in the correct color mode and obviously to the right size so that when we output, it is optimized for web and is looking fantastic, looking really sharp and clear, but not too large that it's going to take a while to upload. So let's get started. Jumping up to our file new option to create a new document. And it's from here that I will um, name it. We'll just call it Facebook event <clears throat> banner. All right. And starting from the top, we've got our profiles that are available. Now you could set this up using the web profile. Um, you've got a number of other profiles available, your basic RGB or your print, because this is going to be used on Facebook. Um, if we select the web option, what that does is you can see down here, it's put it in the red, green and blue um, color mode. And it's also put the resolution at 72 pixels per inch, which is the standard resolution for screen work. All right, but we're going to customize some of these fields here. So underneath the web, we've got the option to change the number of artboards that we work with. Now I'm probably going to put together two or three different concepts for this event banner. So I'm going to need more than one artboard in order to do that. So I'll just increase that to three artboards and then I can change the way that these artboards are arranged on the screen. So, or within my window. So I'm actually, I want these artboards to run from left to right um, rather than in a grid light structure. So if I choose this one here, that will run my artboards from left to right. And the spacing is just that amount of space between each of those artboards. I might put 50 pixels between each artboard. Okay, so from our sizes, you can see from this drop down here, there's a number of sizes available. These are standard uh, screen resolutions, but because this is for a Facebook post, we've got a specific size in mind. So the width for a Facebook post for an event um, is 470 pixels. So, and I should just mention at this point as well, you can see here from the units that are available, um, you can choose from millimeters, centimeters, but because we're working once again for web, you want to set it up um, as pixels because that's a standard unit that we use when we're working for web. Okay, so getting back here to the width, I'm going to just actually click on that word width, which will select the field. And it's from within here that I can actually um, put in my size, so 470. And then the height um, will be 174. And then finally, I've got my um, bleed options here. Now, because this is a web-based document, I don't need to worry about bleed. We only use bleed when we're dealing with print documents. And then at the very bottom here where we've got these um, options for the color mode and the resolution, you can actually change those if you click on the advanced settings there, but we don't need to because um, this is just a standard web document and it RGB at 72 uh, pixels per inch is the ideal resolution and color mode. All right, so now that we've done that, I can just click on OK and we've now opened up the new document. And as you can see, running from left to right, I've got my three artboards there and I'm ready to get started. So that's how you set a document up from scratch uh, for web. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next Short and Sweet TV video.